Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you some cool effects that you can do with displacement maps in After Effects. So displacement maps are a way for you to use the information from one layer to distort and displace another layer. So starting from scratch here, I'm going to show you how to create some cool mirror sort of displacements on a clip. So to begin, we just have a clip. Uh, I think it just looks cool with faces because it splits them up like a mirror, but you can use anything you want. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. So I'll go to layer, new, solid, and I'll press enter. And that'll create a new solid layer. And on this layer in the effects and presets panel, we want to create a ramp. That's sort of like a gradient. And that's in the generate effects folder. I can just click and drag that onto this gray solid that I made. And that'll create a black to white gradient ramp. Now you can keep it going from top to bottom or whatever. In my case, I'm going to make it go from left to right because we want to do this horizontally. So the start of ramp, we can just move this point here to the left side and the other point, we can make it on the right side. Uh, you could try to be a little bit more exact if you want perfectly straight lines. And you also have the options between linear ramp and radial ramp, which can be interesting. So we'll start with linear ramp. And then in order to give it the staggered look, uh, not a smooth gradient, but just blocks, what we're gonna do is also add the posterize effect. And you can see I'm just searching these effect names in the effects and presets search bar. But the posterize is in the stylized folder, not to be confused with posterize time. Similar idea, but for different uh, results. So posterize on this gradient will look like this. We've now posterized it into these stepped uh, gradations rather than smooth. And you could choose the level. So this is at seven. You can make it two, three, four, uh, however much you want. And that'll just adjust the amount of steps that you have. So here's what it looks like for, at five, for example. Now, for the time being, we can turn the visibility of this layer off by clicking this little eyeball icon because we're just using the information from that layer. We don't actually need it to be visible. Now, if we go back to our video clip layer, we can search for the displacement map effect, and that's in the distort video effects folder, and we can click and drag this one onto our video clip. So in the effect controls panel on the left-hand side, and remember, if you don't see any of these windows, you can always go to the window menu and make sure the, the effect controller or whatever panel is checked on so you can see it. And in this menu, we could see our options for the displacement map. So the displacement map layer, we actually want to use that dark gray solid or whatever solid layer that, that you used. That doesn't have to be gray. That's just what mine was. And you also, this is very important, want to make sure you have effects and masks turned on as well. So it's not just taking from the original solid. It's also considering the gradient effects that we put on. Now from this step, for the horizontal displacement, we can use something like the luminance, which is the brightness values to tell After Effects what to distort based on. And here we have the max horizontal displacement and vertical displacement. Uh, so I'm going to turn them both to luminance. Vertical displacement would be like this, which I don't really want to do because then we have to deal with these black bars, which you could go for if you just drop down the layer properties and in the transform section. If you scale the video up enough, then you could go for something like that, but you have to figure out how to deal with those black bars. In this case, I'm going to leave that at zero because I don't want to do vertical displacement, but the horizontal displacement is where we want to go. So moving it to the right, a positive values will sort of shrink it in and in the way that we did our gradient. So I'm actually going to move it to the left, expanding it out. So something like negative 200 or beyond will start to create these separations. And you can see it creates this cool mirror splitting effect uh, based on these displacements that we've made. And this is just a starting point. You can go back to your gray solid layer and you can see what things would look like if you increased the posterization level or if you decrease them. And also, what if you changed around the gradient? Like here's a radial gradient instead of a linear. That makes it more circular. And don't forget that you can also 
animate or add expressions onto any of these effects. So I can move things around. Let's say I, I add a keyframe onto the start position. And let's say I move around that point to over here. That starts to change things and move things around. Um, obviously, there's new things that we have to consider now. We've created new black lines, but just showing you some different possibilities and ideas with this. And not only can you just displace in this cool mirror sort of way, you can also displace other graphics or layers, such as a text object. So let's say I add text. I can actually just go to my video clip layer. I can highlight the displacement map, command C to copy and command V to paste that same effect onto this text layer. And I can do, I can adjust it differently, but now I can displace text as well. So let's say in the text case, let's try displacing it vertically because now we don't care about the black bars. So now we have this cool text displacement. Also a bonus tip, if you want different effects for text displacing, you can change the edge behavior. So something like wrap pixels around or checking expand output also will give you different results to play around with. And remember, you can animate these things as well. So this effect could be a lot of fun. You can create some cool looks and it's just a starting point to what's possible with displacement map. Now you can actually use any layer to displace another layer. So this is what it looks like if the layer displaces itself based on its own luminance values. Kind of creates a cool chrome sort of look. But hopefully this gave you an idea and a starting point to work with. I also have other videos on displacement maps and all of the distort effects and after effects in the playlists on my channel. And you could subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.